have you ever wondered why independent candidates don't take a larger share of the political spotlight in an arena that supposedly champions equality? But this is a question that often sparks curiosity and confusion. We're here to explore the uncertain terrain of independent candidates in the political landscape. In a land that prides itself on equality, it's puzzling to see these candidates often not taken as seriously as their Republican or Democratic counterparts. Why is that? Is it something inherent in their independent status or is the political arena tilted against them? You see, the political journey of an independent candidate is not a simple one. It's a path laden with unique obstacles and challenges, often overlooked in the mainstream narrative. Uh, these challenges range from lack of party support to limited funding, all of which diminish their visibility and influence. Independent candidates face unique challenges that set them apart from their party-affiliated counterparts. Let's delve into it. The road to political success uh, is fraught with obstacles, but for independent candidates, the journey can be even more treacherous. And one of the most significant challenges for independent candidates is the lack of an established party structure. Typically, party-affiliated candidates have access to a wealth of resources, including experienced campaign teams, established voter bases, and a well-oiled fundraising machine. On the contrary, independent candidates often have to build their campaign infrastructure from scratch, a task that is both time-consuming and expensive. Another hurdle faced by independents is the challenge of funding. Unlike their party-affiliated counterparts who benefit from a steady stream of donations from party members and special interest groups, independent candidates often have to rely on their own resources or a limited pool of private donations. This financial constraint can seriously hamper their ability to compete effectively, particularly in high-stakes races where campaign expenditures can run into millions of dollars. Visibility is also a significant concern. In a political landscape dominated by the red and blue of the Republicans and Democrats, independent candidates often struggle to make themselves seen and heard. With limited access to high-profile debates and mainstream media coverage, they may find it difficult to reach a wide audience and make their voices heard. And let's not forget about voter perception. Many voters view politics through a binary lens, seeing only Democrats or Republicans as viable choices. This mindset often marginalizes independent candidates who may be seen as less serious contenders or even spoilers who could split the vote. In comparison, Republicans and Democrats face their own set of challenges, but these are often tempered by the advantages conferred by their party affiliation. They have the backing of a robust party machine, access to substantial funding, and a ready-made platform from which to broadcast their message. As we can see, independent candidates often have to navigate a more complex political landscape than their party-affiliated counterparts. This journey, while daunting, is not insurmountable. With the right resources, strategies, and a shift in public perception, independent candidates can indeed make a significant impact on the political stage. In the face of these challenges, how can we level the playing field for independent candidates? Well, the journey to political equality begins with reimagining our campaign financing system. Currently, the system is tilted in favor of candidates from major parties who often receive massive financial backing from party coffers and wealthy donors. But what if we introduced reforms that limit the influence of big money and instead promote grassroots fundraising? This could empower independent candidates who rely more on small donations from ordinary citizens Imagine a political landscape where the size of a candidate's war chest doesn't determine their success, but rather the strength of their ideas and policies. 
Besides financing, we need to think about how we can increase media coverage for independent candidates. Media plays a crucial role in shaping public opinion, and unfortunately, independent candidates often get sidelined. We need to encourage our media institutions to give equal airtime to all candidates, regardless of their party affiliation. This would help break the stereotype of independents as fringe candidates and highlight their potential to bring fresh perspectives to the table. But changing the system isn't just about legislation and media reform, it's about education too. We need to cultivate a broader understanding of political diversity among the public. The myth that only Republicans or Democrats can lead effectively needs to be debunked. Our schools, communities, and media platforms can play a significant role in this, teaching citizens about the importance of diverse political views and the valuable role independent candidates can play in our democracy. And let's not forget, change starts from within. Independent candidates themselves need to be bold, innovative, and resilient. They need to challenge the status quo, articulate their ideas clearly, and connect with voters on a personal level. Their drive and determination can inspire others and gradually shift perceptions. Um, by understanding and addressing these challenges, we can help ensure that all voices are heard in our political discourse, not just those from the major parties, uh, because in the end, it's not about which party you belong to, but about the ideas you bring and the change you can make. So. Um, in a nutshell, what have we discovered about the plight of the independent candidate? We've delved into the unique challenges they face. The struggle for recognition, the lack of party support, and the uphill battle to break through the duopoly of Republicans and Democrats. Yet despite these obstacles, they persist, driven by the belief that they can bring about change, that they can offer a different perspective in a political arena, often dominated by two voices. We've also discussed uh, potential solutions, increasing media coverage, encouraging public engagement, and pushing for electoral reforms. It's a daunting task, but not an impossible one. It requires collective effort, a shift in mindset, a willingness to embrace diversity in our political discourse. In the land of equality, it's time we started taking independent candidates as seriously as we do Republicans and Democrats. After all, isn't that the essence of democracy? A multitude of voices, a plethora of ideas, all vying for the chance to make a difference.